Okay, so you've decided you wanted to make some video quizzes for your students using Kaltura and Canvas. First thing you're going to need to do is go to My Media. Now, in your course, you should have a My Media link. If you do not for some reason, it's possible that you do not have a My Media link, click on your Settings button, go to Navigation, and then look for the My Media tab here and enable it. Once it's enabled, what it does is it moves it up into the things you'll be able to see, but be sure to click Save. And now what will happen is, is you'll have a My Media. Now when you click on My Media, what you're going to notice is, is you may or may not have recordings. Depending on whether or not you used uh, Kaltura with Blackboard, you may already have recordings in there. But if you'd like to make a new recording, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab this capture space. So add new capture space and it's going to ask you immediately, hey, what do you want to do? And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to download and install capture space here on my Mac. If you have a PC, you'll need to do that. Once you've installed Capture Space, you can go in and make a new, for example, for this one what I'll do is I'm going to click on Capture Space here and it's going to open this, it's going to ask me to open up Capture Space. So now it's open here and it's going to ask me what do I want to do with my Capture Space. For example, maybe do I want to, let me minimize this, do I want to make a screen recording? Do I want to make a screen and web camera recording? Do I only want to make a web camera recording or am I simply recording voice? Well for this one, for this basic test what I'll do is I'll make a screen recording. I'll say go ahead and record the full screen. It'll give me a few seconds, and now, of course, it will be recording the full screen. I can move between tabs, and since I'm not really making a video for a test, I'm just making a video to share this with you. I'll show this, and I'll say, what's the name of my class? I'll click back, and of course, when I'm done, I'll go back in here, and I will say that I'm done. Now, what's happening is, is Kaltura is making this video. It's saving the recording. I can now see the, the video that was made, and I can say, done. Now I'm going to give it a name, okay? So we'll just say uh, demonstration, right? And I'm going to upload this to my Kaltura. Now I'll be deleting this later, so I didn't fill out all the metadata and the other information that I'd want to have in there. But once I close this, now I should be able to go back to my media and refresh it. Okay, and there it is. That demonstration video that I made with Kaltura and uploaded to my media is right here ready for me to use. Now, I made a quick demo of how to use the tool to make videos, but if you have videos on your desktop that you want to upload, you can just upload videos right to my media. Uh, you can also do that with, say, Screencastify or uh, Screencast-O-Matic or other videos that you have that you want to upload. You can upload them to my media and turn them into quizzes. Uh, again, you can make web recordings. You can go out and find your favorite YouTube or TED Talks and import them and turn them into quizzes as well. I showed you briefly how to use Capture Space, but um, what we're going to work on now is actually turning this video. Now that I have this video in my media, I'm going to turn it into a video quiz. And the way I do that is by clicking on Video Quiz. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this demonstration video, and that's the one I'm going to make into a video quiz. Now what it's going to do here is when you click on Start, it's going to create an entire new instance of that video. And what it does is it creates that new instance, and the original video stays intact, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now you get to discuss what or decide what you want to do with your particular quiz. I'm going to name this the demonstration quiz. I want it to show a welcome page, right? Um, I'm choosing to allow students to download the question set before it begins and I'm giving students instructions. Those can be toggled on or off. You can also choose to include answers for students or not to give answers at all. And with this quiz, I'm not going to show any answers at all because I don't want students talking to each other about the answers. I just want them to take the quiz. And then when it comes to the experience, what I'm going to do is as they're viewing it, I will allow them to answer, but I'm not going to allow them to skip. In other words, they have to go in the sequence of the video. They can't just move around and answer the way they want. They've got to watch the full video. And so now that that's done, I can toggle that switch off. And now I'll start making the video. And so I guess it depends on how many questions you want to put in. For me, you may remember I recorded the screen and went between tabs, and then I tabbed into my class and I said I was going to ask a question about what's the name of my class. Well, once I'm in the scene where I want to add the question, I simply click on this button and I might say something like, what is the name of my class? Right, and then here I could say reading, but it isn't reading, so I need to say composition. Right, and then here I would say reading. And now I know that when students answer, if they click on this button, they're going to be right. And I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to click Done. And then I can go back to my media page. Now, what's happened here, and I told you I'd come back to this in a minute, but in my media, you'll now notice 
that I have the demonstration video that I made, but I also have the demonstration quiz. Well, what that means is, is now that this quiz has been created, I can go back to my dashboard and log into another course inside of Canvas because now that I've created a quiz, I can put that quiz into my Canvas courses. So I guess for this example right here, I'm going to go into this uh, peer review course that I'm working on helping develop. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to say add an assignment. Now there are no assignments yet, but I'm going to go ahead and click add an assignment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, testing video quiz. All right, and this is where our instructions for video quiz. Now teachers have the ability to put whatever they want here. Uh, but where it gets tricky is down here. How many points do you want to assign? Well, I'll just assign 10 points for this particular test. And uh, for now, I'm going to say that the submission type is going to be using an external tool. And this is where you need to make sure you're paying attention. You need to go find that tool. And the tool we're going to be looking for is actually going to be called Interactive Video Quiz. And when I click on that, it's going to show the interactive video quizzes that I have available. And there's that demonstration quiz, right? And so since I have this demonstration quiz, I can select it. And then I click Select Again. And now I've got a link to that quiz, which is good to go. I can go ahead and assign it to everyone. I can put in a due date if I want. I'll put it in for today or tomorrow. And then I'm just going to click Save and Publish. Now, once I've done that, I now have an assignment, and you'll notice, with that video quiz there. So if I were to go home, and for example, in this course, and I were to go into the student view, I'm now looking at the course as a student, and when I click on syllabus, I can see that I've got this testing video quiz. And as a student, I can click on this testing video quiz, and the instructions will come up, and as soon as I click play, it's going to tell me the rules and I can start. Now remember I can't fast forward through it but I can see where I have a question that's coming up here. And so when I get to that question that's when I'm going to ask or answer the question. So let's wait for that to happen. And there it is. So what was the name of the class? Now if you remember it's a composition class so I made that the correct answer. I'll click continue and then of course you can put as many questions as you want into this. It's totally up to you how you want to design it uh, for your students. But now that I've completed that, I can click Submit. And since I've submitted it, I remember I'm taking this as a student, I can go to My Grades, and I can immediately see that I have taken and gotten 10 out of 10 on my testing video quiz. And that's how teachers are using video quizzes uh, to create orientation assignments. Basically, they're, they're making screencasts to orient students to the class. And then the very first assignment is a quiz that students take that's an orientation video. And so we wanted to share that with you. And so um, if you have questions, please feel free to give us a call or come into any of the, the Centers for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Uh, there's plenty of people who'd be happy to help you use video quizzing in Kaltura with your students. All right, have a great day.